Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, you guys. I hope all is well with you all. Y'all already know what we finna do. We finna dive into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. We finna dive in these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. Okay, we have the King of Swords here. So we have the King of Swords. I do see the High Priestess right on top here. Um, so it could be a High Priest, King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They can have that highly aspected in a chart or Pisces. Uh, this High Priest could be attacking someone's complete happiness here. Okay, attacking someone that is gifted here. Okay, but justice will be had for what this individual is doing here. Who I oh man, yeah, this high priest is going against someone that's gifted here. They're calling in, um, and they're also calling in this person to be in the five of pentacles. Okay, whether that's spiritually or um you know, physically, they're trying to drain someone or take from someone here. So this is a dark high priest. Excuse me, y'all, my, um, my mommy. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Cool. Yeah, I'm reading. Nothing, just reading. And he uh, listening to music. So he listening to music and I'm doing readings. Uh-huh. You on break? <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. It's there. I said it's there. You was going what? Oh. Yeah. I mean, but that don't take no, really no prepping anyway with the, with the fish and the coastline stuff. That don't really, that ain't nothing. But I could definitely do that. I mean, whether you want to go get the stuff today or tomorrow. Yeah, that don't mean I don't take nothing. To, you know, real french fries, coleslaw, you know. I want some macaroni. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Uh-uh, the kind that I made the last time.
We could go in the morning. <laughs> okay. Alright, y'all, I apologize. But yeah, this person is going against someone. Uh, definitely attacking somebody here. Uh, this individual could even want to have some form of confrontation here. This person celebrated doing this too. This made this person happy. And that's why justice is coming in for what this individual called in for you. For you to be in the five of pentacles and to be tied up here. This person wanted some form of victory over you. This high priest. Yeah. This person is a disappointment here. Okay. Okay you the disappointment in spirit because you're supposed to be a high priest and you know be of authority and you are attacking someone else that is gifted that's weird you're a weirdo this person is disappointed here because they they didn't celebrate it too fucking soon now this person is stressed out burdened this person got an empty ass victory from doing so and now justice is coming and this person is under fucking judgment for what they did yep some devilish shit i told y'all this was a dark ass high priest we got the Donna Cups. They just wanted their wishes granted. And they wanted the gift of the divine here. This demonic ass. This divine. I was about to call him. I'm trying to slow the cussing down. But people be making me want to cuss their ass out. This demonic ass person here. This a. Yeah, this is definitely a dark high priest. They got Capricorn in their chart. Pisces in their chart. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They wanted you to walk away from something here. They wanted you to sacrifice something and walk away here. They wanted you to sacrifice something and walk away, but you were saying no. Okay. You said no. I ain't walking away from nothing. And even with that seven of wands that we seen in the beginning, you stood your ground. And this person worked hard against you for you to walk the hell away. Look, the magician here worked hard on you for you to walk away. But it's so crazy because you the magician whole time with the sun. And everything was fine the whole time, even with um this person wanting to end you death i told you they wanted you to stop something they wanted to end something here that's why they were attacking you okay you could be a high priestess yourself okay they backstabbed and betrayed you here they tried to completely ruin you okay this individual tries to call judgment on you you could have scorpio in your chart you could be a, a high priestess with scorpio in your chart um, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Cancer. But yeah, this this man tried to call judgment on this, uh, basically a sun child. This in the same, you know, basically in the same field as far as spiritually, you know. Cause this king of swords this king of swords could either be a high priest in a form of it don't necessarily mean they got to do tarot you know what i'm saying but this person went against you and this person worked hard as hell to get you to stop doing what you was doing here maybe because you're gifted look they tried to end you i ain't playing with the dev card coming out but the divine, because you are a true sun child, this, this motherfucker is out of darkness. Because you are a true sun child, the divine didn't let this let this happen here. This person was jealous of you because you're a woman in a leader position here. You're freaking strong. 
you're very strong and this man was jealous as hell and tried to end you and end that here you know sometimes men don't like to see females in a position of power uh this man didn't like that you were spiritually guided and given spiritual guidance uh, it brought the devil out of his ass. <laughs> and you already know. That's how this this person dark. Because it brought the devil out. <laughs> oh, man. Didn't like to see you being a female leader. Being very beautiful and on your throne. This man was very fucking jealous of you being gifted by the most high. It brought the devil out of him. So now, basically, on some I see you, this man could be a Scorpio. He could have Scorpio in, in his chart, too, as well. But it brought the devil out of him, seeing you in power. This person became obsessed with trying to end you here and trying to transform something in your life. So this person is of the darkness. That's how you be knowing who, who, who play for who, who on who team, even if they don't know it. Brought the devil out of somebody because you was in power, because the most high put you in power here, because you the damn star, the God and light here. It brought the devil out of somebody here because you have been renewed in the spirit. Because you're very healing. You can have Aquarius in your chart as well. Because you understand the sacred language. And you're honest. And you're pure here. Um, and you have hope and faith. This person wanted to end that here. But you were called to do this work. <laughs> you were called. So this person has no authority over that shit. And it brought the demon out of somebody because you're a female in power here. So this person wanted to cause confusion. Like I said, this person messed with your abundance. <laughs> and that is true. This person even partnered up with others to get this done. Because this person wants to be the leader. <laughs> wants to give the spiritual guidance. But this motherfucker demonic. You ain't giving nobody shit. <laughs> you don't deserve to. Being that the fact that you went against somebody like that, you don't deserve to. Because vengeance belongeth to Yahweh, not you. You tried to enact it and end some shit by yourself. What the fuck gives you the authority to do so? You don't fucking do that. Just like even with me, for instance, the divine be showing me when people be doing some shit, right? But I'm not going up to those people saying, oh, I know you doing some shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that the most high is going to handle that because vengeance belongeth to him. Even though he lets me see what he lets me see. Unless he tells me to do something, I have no authority there to enact upon anyone. And you would know that if you were really true to who you were supposed to be. And you're fucking not. So actually, you need to transform and pray and connect with the Most High and ask him to change your heart and your mind. Because you have no right to do so. You have no right to do that. He may give, he may have me give a message and you know, I might call some stuff out just like this here, but that's because he's having me give the message. But I'm not going to go up to you, whoever you are, and, and, and act vengeance on you because vengeance belongeth to our heavenly father and mother. So that just shows who you are yet again. 
but this person was called to do the work that they are doing here. So you can't fuck with that. What's going to happen is things is going to transform in your life. And like I said before, you need to pray and ask to be renewed in the spirit because you're not. You're dark. You're not of the light. And to team up and partner up and try to mess with someone's abundance and stuff, you're sick. We have Cap. You could be. You could have Capricorn in your chart as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. But this is why you were an appointed to have the gift that this woman has. Because look what the fuck you're doing. People got to look at the motherfucking selves. Look what the fuck you doing. You crazy. <laughs> you tried to mentally entrap this star too as well. You tried to restrain this star, but you cannot restrain anyone's life force. You didn't fucking give it. You can't do that shit. But you kept on trying though. You worked hard as fuck, but you can't do that shit, bruh. The most high gives the increases and the decreases. You ain't got no motherfucking power or fucking authority. You on some superficial shit and you need to pray to be renewed in the spirit because your life force is actually the one that's restrained. Hmm. So you need to. Call up the most high, get your prayer on, and ask to be renewed, ask for a change of heart, ask for a change of mind so you can get to work on your shit. Why are you trying to work on somebody else and stop somebody else? Yeah, take this opportunity here so that you can fucking grow. Take the opportunity to learn something. Three of Pentacles, get mentored. How about that? Instead of being in competition, because you in competition with the wrong motherfucking one. Because you ain't got it. Sorry, baby. But I also see why you don't have it. You are stuck. And you are stuck spiritually and mentally here. Yeah. You might as well walk the fuck away because this person really do got that clear understanding here. And messing with this person, you really will get laid to rest. Don't think that you did anything to this individual because they're resting. This, this woman rests in the holy place, getting enlightenment. So that they can do their work, getting clarity. This person has purpose from the divine, true enlightenment. You wanted to lay this woman to rest and sacrifice them. So, and then my thing is with you crazy ass people, who keep wanting to sacrifice people thinking that y'all going to get their gifts or sacrifice people and think that y'all are going to walk in their likeness or their image or sacrifice people and think that you can fucking be them. You fucking cannot. I wish you sick motherfuckers stop fucking doing that shit. But I know some of the things must be. You know, I got that understanding. But y'all fucking sick. To think that that's what's going to happen. Why would you think the divine will award you any such fucking thing? You are demonic. You are dark. He's not going to reward you shit. Your rewards will come from Satan and you will still meet your just due. Satan to make you real happy and give you, give you, give you. And you still going to meet your just due. And you're going to be looking fucking crazy at the end, especially when it's all said and done. This person is a protector of the word. And this person is also, and this is so beautiful. I'm, I'm glad that these cards is like this too. This is so beautiful. See you, you sitting up here with your motherfucking hand. Look at his fist balled up on the, um, on that, uh, throne. Your fists are fucking balled up. You are selfish as fuck. 
this woman has an open hand to give clarity and understanding to whomever fucking needs it. You on some, you on a power trip. You lame as hell. I'm going to say it. You on some power trip ass shit. You lame as hell. And you are not transforming people for the better with these butterflies on your throne. You're not transforming shit for the better. You transform shit for the darkness. You probably is death. Killing people and don't even know it. Killing people's spirit and don't even know it. Now look at this woman's throne. It has a dove and a butterfly. Because this is a divine messenger. Dove, that's a messenger. Love dove is in the, in the word. The heart. Dove is a messenger. The butterfly transformation. This person messages. And it's intelligent too with the crow here. You got more than one crow here. Because you. <laughs> the light be trying to talk to you and transform you. But here you got another crow. You be listening to that devil on your shoulder. With your silly ass. Yo, silly ass. Uh-uh. You being advised to walk away. Or shit gonna transform in your life. Let it go. Stop this battling here or you're gonna end up in the five of fucking cups with your fucking gifts. You could be you could have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your chart. You're gonna be in the panic and in the motherfucking worry. And you you called it in yourself. You called in your own motherfucking ending. So go on right on ahead. Because like I said, this is the... I just... <laughs> I love how the cards literally line up. You know, whether I shuffle them or they pop out or just the way I shuffle them, it still lines up. The story still lines up. You keep battling this person. You're going to be at a loss. You're going to lose your fucking spirit. You're going to be uncertain about life. You're going to want to kill your fucking self. And you may just lose your fucking life. You may just lose your gifts, whatever spiritual gifts you have with your dark ass, your dark manipulative ass. You're going to you're, you're in a panic and in a worry, worried about a lot. You call that in. You call it in your ending and your completion here. Now, back to this. This person was called. This person is channeling thoughts basically greater than their own. This person has the power in the victory. It's infinite. Right? This person had a spiritual rebirth. This is my John the Baptist card, by the way. Ace of Cups right after that. And look, I, at the top, love, dove, the heart. This person blessings overflow. This person was gifted with the spark of life by the divine. This person is a line, mind, body, and spirit. This person has been perfected in the spirit. As a what? A messenger. Here we go. The Knight of Cups giving a message. Queen of Cups. High Priestess. Yeah, this is a high priestess. Did you steady attacking here? You definitely got Leo highly aspected in your chart, but go on here somewhere. Go on, go on, go on here somewhere. Because you're just going to end yourself, and this is a battle that you will lose with your dark ass. But you just steady want to keep taking the risk, thinking you finna hold somebody back from their legacy because you want to be the emperor here? You a fucking tyrant. Don't nobody want to be up under your harsh rule? You're a fucking tyrant. You definitely got Aries in your chart, too. See, you put on like you want to spread happiness and expand happiness and joy and promises. But no, what you're really doing is putting people at a fucking loss. And look, the nine of swords came out in reverse because this is a battle that you will lose. So you've been instructed to... Be cautious or be cautious if you want to persevere because you can meet your end. But that's on you. <laughs> that's on you. Be cautious. Know who you dealing with.
Be cautious. Know who you dealing with. You walked away from the divine to walk straight in fucking darkness. Be cautious and know who you dealing with. Because this person, look, splitting the deck. This person going to persevere. And this person channels a consciousness greater than their own. And it's going to be long lasting, whatever, what they work on with the divine. You can come in quick with arguments and competition and chaos if you want to. Keep sending that shit in. You're being watched doing what you're doing, trying to tie somebody up. So you could be a little fool. Keep going off of your impulse and instinct and your animalistic ass shit. Keep being a fool. Keep being thoughtless and careless. You definitely got Aries and Leo highly aspected in your chart. But keep coming. Because you're it's being illuminated with a fucking fool you are. Because this is actually an angelic being. It's divinely protected. This person is protected by angels too as well. And this is the actual fucking magician. This person is whole. As above, so below. In their purest form. In integrity. Gifted by the divine. This person will be completely happy. And this person is of higher status here. So fuck around if you want to. Because you've been battling for a long time, stretching it out too, involving all types of other motherfucking people, making all types of risky offers to other people to hold this queen of cups back. But listen, this high priestess legacy is set. And all you're doing is attacking your motherfucking self and breaking your own motherfucking heart. So go right on ahead. Keep going because you're going to destroy your motherfucking self. To look, split in the deck, five of cups. I'm telling you, whoever teaming up with this motherfucker, you too. Whoever teaming up with this motherfucking tyrant, they just is all about fucking power and nothing else. Your ass will be in the five of cups too. You want to lose your spirit? Go right on ahead. You want to end up committing suicide? Maybe go right ahead. You want to lose your motherfucking life? Go right ahead. You want to be uncertain about life? Go right ahead. But it's a decision that you made. Remember that at the end of the day. Remember that. Because you're going to get karma. Look, five of cups with the will of fortune. Your ass going to be sorry. You better be worried about that afterlife. <laughs> You don't want to be fated to suffer. Y'all better change our minds. Pray to, for the most high Yahweh to change our minds and change our hearts. <laughs> this is, and then, and, and then you try to put on like you this, but you really this. Other people might not see you, but this woman knows who the fuck you is. <laughs> and that's probably why you attacking her. Oh, you called in the devil on this person. Yep, my phone just buzzed. You called in the devil on this person to end this person for riches. It's just for money and shit. That's like, <laughs> okay. All right. Somebody got tour got Taurus or Capricorn in their chart. But okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right. This our priestess is the ace of cups, though. You too blind to see it, but your ass going to be in jail, un under judgment and you ain't going to see that shit coming, bro. Trying to help you out. This person has the keys from the divine. Celebrating. Re being renewed spiritually. In him. You're going to be disappointed. Mentally fucked and trapped, restrained life force with him. <laughs> Keep fucking around. And whoever else, y'all going to be chained to old Lucy. And y'all can think y'all know how Lucy get down just because he be giving y'all bullshit here and there with that material bullshit that y'all fucking want. But okay. But remember, this is what you chose. Because he gonna mop the floor with y'all motherfucking asses. Y'all think shit's sweet? He gonna be laughing at y'all motherfucking asses. Yes, it's the Empress Temperance. 
Like, <laughs> the fucking leader. You can't do shit about that. Bruh, sadly mistaken here. Causing your own stress and burdens because the victory going to stay empty. No matter who the fuck you partner up with. No matter who the fuck you team up with. You gathering them, ain't you? Five plus people, maybe seven. That you done already, you doing it, ain't you? And then just keep being out of fucking <laughs> This is insanity here. This is the definition of insanity here. This is the definition of insanity. Baby, if I ain't never seen it. You committed to the devil. Bruh. <laughs> That's stupid. The game is rigged. You're stupid. Yeah, you better watch out, too, because especially if you got any babies, they're going to be in bad health. Or you just childish as fucking, you going to be in bad health. Or a child around you might end up in bad health. You better stop fucking around, because guess what? That justice, you don't understand balance. You're messing with the divine child, no matter what their age is. So keep fucking around. I'm telling you, I'll be trying to warn y'all, like... I know sometimes I be cussing or whatever, but cussing is, is just language. It's word season into me. You know? I'm showing you love by delivering these messages. My heart ain't in no ill place. But when I see the devil, I'm going to get with him, though. You feel me? <laughs> So, all right, don't act like you ain't been worn. Don't act like you ain't been worn. Cause you know how people, when shit start to go down, they be like, oh, no, you did this shit. This divine person ain't do that shit. You did it. They be like, you did it. They be like, you did it. You just got this woman on your mind. Won't stop. That's all you think about. It's a new clever way to, you be trying to repaint this woman in a different light. Thinking you clever and shit. Your mind is just all on this woman. Cut it out, bruh. <laughs> Cut it the fuck out. What is going on? Yeah, your mind just all on this woman and her gifts. I ain't playing in her gift. You want that shit to change. <laughs> so bad that you been just dropping money in people's hands to make it change here. 2727. That's all your ass been doing. Check. Oh! Y'all be like, I'll be just letting it go. This is a mirror effect. That's all your ass been doing to make this change. Oh, dumb ass gonna go fucking broke. You're not getting this shit. You're not getting it. Somebody could be born in September. Somebody could be born on the 27th, the 17th, the 16th. Even if you, even if you a woman in masculine energy, that shit ain't going down. Somebody could be born on the ninth. This wild right here. Somebody could be born on the fifth, the seventh, the thirteenth, the tenth. Somebody could be born in those months, the third month, the fourth month, born on the fourth, born on the third, born on the eighth, born in the eighth month. Pfft. 
You's a wild boy. <laughs> you wild as fuck. Putting that money in hand, mirror effect. That's all you've been doing. Dropping money in people's hand to make this change. That's wild. All about somebody gifts. Heavy on your mind. That you even trying to repaint who this person is. Give it the fuck up. Yeah, you using your wealth. That wealth don't mean shit. Spiritually. Motherfucker, that shit don't mean shit spiritually. You can't use that to get in, motherfucker. <laughs> you can't use that to get in. That wealth don't mean shit, good buddy. That's some Babylonian shit with this 13 on this damn car. That's some dark shit you doing, good buddy. You can't use that money. That ain't no. What about your fucking pure heart? What about what's on that mind? Because that ain't going to get you in, good buddy. That wealth, no, good buddy. You doing shit ass backwards, good buddy. Whoever the fuck you is. You, you a smart dummy. <laughs> you want to be high honor so bad that you finna leave your ass in despair and in fucking poverty because you're doing it so wrong. You might even lose your fucking home. Fucking with this privileged, fortunate lady. Great fortune in her pathway. The fuck is wrong with you? Good buddy, your ass is going to end up with no fucking job, in fucking despair. Out in the street, with no fucking home. Because <sighs> this person actually is high honor. You want to be high honor, and you think money makes you fucking high honor. No. This person is of great fortune. No matter what you try to do to them, no matter how you try to hurt their pockets, no matter what you pay whoever to fucking do, this person will remain privileged. This person will remain great fortune. And you cannot transform this person's path from the light. This person is guided through the wilderness as well with these forest trees. You can't fuck with the divine. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, my good baby. But it ain't happening. Yeah, you think wealth makes you fucking high honor. So you just flaunting this money everywhere. Hey, hey, you worked hard as fuck for this shit. Hey, hey, no, motherfucker. <laughs> no it's still not it you hustling backwards this person of high honor might end up coming into sudden wealth and some unexpected income though but it's gonna be different because this person is rich and <laughs> Confirmation. It's going to be different because this person is rich in the spirit. Yo ass dark as hell with some money. That's it. <laughs> boy, boy, I tell you. Y'all going to get enough of this dumb shit. I know y'all done heard material you even trying to put this person in bad health but your judgment it may end up being bad health you might get sick but what i was gonna say is um i know y'all heard that saying you can't take shit with you when you go even this flesh even this cursed flesh it all gotta go it ain't entering the kingdom why you think that when I be talking and saying this person is perfected in the spirit because spirit is with what is perfect within us. This flesh, this flesh curse. This flesh ain't nothing. That's why this flesh can't enter in. But all right, though. 
trying to warn you, good buddy. You either take you either take heed or don't. That's gonna be on you though. You did it to yourself. Just remember that. Remember you did it to yourself. Yeah, because you gonna be under judgment with the things that I have named. Since ain't nothing come out, I ain't gonna keep shuffling it. And this person of high honor is going to have sudden wealth. You gonna be burdened and stressed under judgment. Their path is going to be cleared under judgment. Okay, you the message of concern. You concerned about defeat. You and whoever you partnered up with. You and these you could be using women to as well. Y'all concerned about that goddamn defeat? Concerned, real concerned about this teaming up now, because y'all gonna be at a loss for that hard work y'all put in. Look at this shit. And in the distant horizon, it ain't that distant. It's gonna come in quick. A message about y'all abundance and money, motherfucker. So expect chaos, because <laughs> you should have. <laughs> you was expecting the person rear over this person would expect chaos. Y'all income and what y'all think is coming in for y'all, you're going to be at heartbreak and loss. While this person is going to what? Get that unexpected income because they're of high honor. Meanwhile, what? A Leo going to be in the casket. Meanwhile, what? Everybody else gonna be acting like everything fine and gonna be in bad health. Then what? A uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius woman gonna be under judgment. What? This person watching and spying on the message. What? <laughs> I'm stop fucking around. <laughs> I ain't fucking around though. You know, I make light of situations sometimes, but hey, take it motherfucking serious, cause that's only that. It's your ass, Mr. Postman. You think you delivering? Your ass gonna be fucked up and salty. So you've been warned. So let's just say you ain't getting this shit by the way of money. You can do it through dark arts or whatever the case may be, but it'll never be the same. You're not enlightened. You're eating from the knowledge of the tree of good and evil. Um, it's not going to get you in the kingdom. It's not going to make you be powerful, being on that dark, dumb shit. That ain't power. That's powerless. Hey. You choose. You make your choice. You choose. You make your choice. Sacrifice yourself because that's all you're working towards. All of y'all are working towards sacrificing yourselves. Y'all have been, y'all are in confusion. <laughs> y'all are fucking confused. Y'all are just sacrificing your own damn selves. And that's what y'all committed to. Killing off your own shit. But go off. We gonna pull a grateful heart message. We gonna pull a grateful heart message. Cause it's always something to be grateful for, to even get a warning. Can we get a grateful heart message for this read please, Yahweh? Nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh. Nothing in all creation. Not no magic. Not no you teaming up with the damn world, motherfucker. Nothing in all creation. Not no money, not no nothing. Nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh. So go off. <laughs> we have here, praise Yahweh from who all blessings flow. All scripture is Yahweh breath and is used for, for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. It's time for you to get in, put in, put in that actual work and stop thinking you can use your money to get some shit because you can't. You can get, you can use your money to get material shit in this material world, but spiritually, your ass bankrupt. So, hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all later. Peace.